Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more Watch the Mighty Jujutsu, Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, this is episode 7 of season 2, titled Evening Festival. Last we left off, we had a pretty good episode. We had um, this girl from Yuji's past, like, who had a crush on him, and then, like, they started to meet up again. I wonder if that'll become a thing, like, if they'll, if, or if she'll just kind of join the friend group or what. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, that was cute, though. It was a good way to start things off. And uh, it was fun seeing the gang kind of do their own thing again. And I love the whole, like, Worm Man thing movie that you wanted to see. That was great. And then we have Mahito uh, going to fight Mechamaru. And then it ended with Mechamaru entering this gigantic Pacific Rim type of creation that he has. And I'm like, okay, all right. Nothing ab about this was expected, but you know what? It's fun. That's for sure. It's damn fun. So, yeah, let's dive on in. Let's have a good time. Uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, that's good to go. Hitting record on the Patreon version. Link in the description if you want it. It has the audio and no censorship. All right, let's begin. Three, two, one, go. Right off with the action. Whoa. By the way, I do expect Mihito to win this fight. There's no way he, like, dies here. He's, like, the quote-unquote main villain other than Sukuna. But we'll see. We'll see how well Makamaru guy can do. I like how this guy just wants to, like, he's like, yeah, let's, cool, let's go. Let's have some fun. Mahito's a very, I said this in the last episode, but he's a very interesting villain. He's different, and I like that. That is so, oh, that's so cool looking. Ultimate Mechamaru mode, absolute armor puppet, ultimate Mechamaru prototype zero. So basically, he's hoping, yeah, Gojo to bail him out. Good luck with that. That's how long he's been storing up that energy. It's crazy. But to use an, a year's worth right here. Here's the attack that we left off on the last episode. So let's see. He's he's reminding me a lot of like Speedo Sound from uh, One Punch Man. His design right there. Pew! This music is epic. I'm loving it. All right, not a bad attack for one year. I don't think it, I, I'm going to guess he dodged. No, he just, whoa. I don't know if he absorbed it or dodged it, but. Oh, he did get hurt. Whoa, this is, this is so unique. The energy, like in transforming right there. This is so cool. And then we get this awesome intro. Sorry, I'm just going to vibe with this intro. I, this is only the second time I'm seeing this, so. Again, Shibuya is apparently everyone's favorite arc from the manga. It's off to a good start so far. Hope we get more 9 to 5 Sorcerer. I love that guy. I know that's not his real name, but I like calling him 9 to 5 Sorcerer. He's cool. I'm getting some Akatsuki vibes from uh, from that. Kind of like, remember the first opening of Shippuden where it shows the the members? Hope we get more Toto too. And Miwa. I want more Miwa. You could tell shit's going to go down in this arc. I don't know what, but like you could tell it's very dark. And a lot of hints and nods, but I don't I can't piece it together in my mind like what it's going to lead to. Oh, Gojo, you're so pretty. Bright ass blue eyes of yours. And I love this kind of ominous ending. That's a good final shot. Okay, back to the fight. <laughs> it's 
So what's your plan? I mean, I guess we know your plan. It's to hold out for Gojo. But in terms of a fighting stance, what are you going to do here? I definitely wouldn't waste any more large energy bursts like that. If it didn't, a year's worth didn't do like, really much. <laughs> and this guy's just like ecstatic, you know? He just lives for the anything that's entertaining, you know? Is it weird if design-wise, he looks like a lot more of a, a light-hearted, goofy Shigaraki? Is that, like, accurate? Uh, just visual, just visually, not personality at all. Um, miracle Cannon. Boom. Again, this music, the drums, boom, boom, boom. Oh, Big Fist, he's going Luffy. What is this gear two for a uh, three for Luffy where he makes his big fists? Oh shit. Technique loaded. Four chances. Whoa, a finger gun? Lock on? Is it a missile or a laser? Let's find out. Pew! Whoa! He said he had four chances. Doesn't mean he had four of those bullets. Oh! <laughs> oh! And then he kicks him! <laughs> oh, that was sick! I love that slow mo. Foot to the face. That was really good. I mean, obviously he'll be fine from this, but that did look like it did some decent damage. Can he regenerate that arm, though? I. The soul is destroyed. Oh, shit. Do different parts of his body have different souls? I know he, I know he like can do a lot of shit with souls, like molding them and whatnot, but... No imagination. Whoa. It turned into its own, like, thing? Oh. Trying to fool him. The, the, mind, the mind play at work here. Really interesting. The hell is that cable attached to, by the way? Is it just a one long hair piece? It's affecting him. Whoa. The moment I get. What is it you want? Five years? Yo, he's about to do something huge. Pigeon Viola. Oh, don't name. What the hell is he going to do? Oh, Rainbow. He's going to unleash the Rainbow. Dude, Mahita looks so weird in that Birdman form. He looks way too majestic and, like, serious. Like, whoa! Oh, we're getting all goopy animation. I love that. I mean that in a good way. Like, where it really starts to get, like, almost, like, dreamlike. I just... That's so cool. Whoa! Going to a gorilla and a rat and all these other animals. That is so sick! Feed the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Boom. Oh, that slide. Slick. <laughs> he is a formidable opponent, I will say. He's doing better than I thought he would. Oh. Oh, shit. You've unlocked my uh, dreadlocks. Oh, shit. Punch. Incoming punch. Boom. Nice. They do a good job of making the hits really feel like, boom, like impactful. I love that. Oh, is that some 3D? That was some good seamless 3D if it was. I can win. I gotta drill him. Gurren Lagann style. This is the drill that'll pierce the heavens and Mojito.
for anyone who's watched uh Girl in the Gone, great series. Oh my god. Oh shit, he's doing the main expansion. Oh, you're fucked. Whoa. I wonder if he's perfected it. Cause he didn't did I, I could be wrong, didn't he not perfect it before? Oh shit. I wonder if Gojo's gonna get here in time. Did he did did Mechamaru send out like an SOS or something? I can't remember if he did or not. Maybe he's just hoping he'll sense it, the fight. And you're finished. Yeah, because anything that's in his domain, he can touch your soul and like mold it however he wants and stuff. Oh shit. Unless he ejected from the mech in time. Probably not. I don't think so. Yeah. Nine years still left. Oh, what the hell? Huh. Two left in stock. Got one little screen left. Oh no, he's all in the dark now. He's just walking away. Uh oh. Oh shit, he's getting back up. Don't get too cocky, Mojito. Maybe it's not quite over yet. A demand for the week. Ho! Didn't see that coming. Look how surprised he is. Nani? Simple domain. Okay. Whoa, Miwa! Oh! Whoa! Ew! Was he using her as a reference to the, the domain? Oh! <laughs> nice! Okay! Oh, clever. This is a cool fight. Like, I, I kind of expected Mihito to clap, like, instantly. But no, he's... I still think he's going to win. But he's doing a lot better. This... Makamaru's doing a lot better. Oh. Happy miscalculation. I don't know, bro. You're getting a little cocky. Yeah, cue to him getting killed right now. Oh, she's so great. But I feel like, yeah, something bad's about to happen. Ah, uh, yeah. He put it on his head? Oh, no, it was his hand. That perspective was weird. Whoa, this animation. Come out. Oh, is his robot still body still in here? Oh, it is. Whoa. Ew, he's like a fat slug. Oh, so those were... Dude, the animation's going so hard here. Holy shit. So those bullets were literally domains. Okay. Oh my god, the colors. This is so sick. This is almost like Mob Psycho vibes, the purple and the pink and green. Like, that's like Mob Psycho colors right there. This is so sick. This is also kind of like Studio Trigger. This is reminding me a lot of like Studio Trigger, which does uh, like Girl in the Gone and stuff. I love it. Oh shit. Oh. 
<laughs> Whoa. He's about to touch him. Yeah. There's no way Mojito dies from this. Ah. If I'm not mistaken, he had a crush on Miwa, right? Miwa's best girl, by the way, in the series, in my humble opinion. Best boy is obviously Megumi. Oh, and he's going to, this robot's all lifeless now because uh, the owner of it's dead. Probably she's going to realize it right now. Right. Oh, this is so sad. What the fuck? I don't know about that. I think he's kind of done. He's kind of dead now. <laughs> Might be kind of hard. I guess you could see him at a grave or something, but. Maybe he's not dead, but I'm pretty sure he's got to be dead. I hope it confirms it right now. It's a nail. Okay. Well, cutting to a, a dirty street. Okay. Well, it's crazy just how somber this is after the, all the action we just had. Really weird. Whoa. Oh, shit. Is that it? No, wait. How long is this episode? Oh, it's a normal... 23-ish, 24-minute episode. Okay. I feel like we've seen so much already, but we still got, like, a third left. Yeah, drink, drink, sure. Young 20-something-year-olds being stupid in the streets. Yeah. Well, this animation style changed, like... Yeah, let's tip this truck. Sure. Uh oh, we're in Sh so we're in Shibuya, so shit might go down. Oh god, he's too drunk to like focus. Uh oh, oh shit! Here comes the veil. Oh, is everyone about to get fucking, like, wiped out? Because it showed, like, all the streets empty. And all the trash everywhere. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, he just ran into the invisible wall. Oh, shit. Bro, I feel like... I f oh, look at that. Oh, my God. It's like a tornado just sucking up people. It's like get to eat them or some shit. Like, oh my god, that's why the streets are empty and all the trash is everywhere. Oh, this is this is like nightmare fuel. Only regular people inside. Yay! Nine to five sorcerer. I love him. I know, isn't his real name like Ghetto or something? Kento. No, wait. Oh, and Megumi's here? Yo, this is already the best team. And I forgot about this guy. He got like promoted during that fight. He's like, you're on your own. You got this. If you, if you can survive this fight, you're promoted or whatever. I forgot what he said to him, but... <laughs> I'm already hyped. 
Got two of my favorite characters right here. Megumi and 9 to 5. I know I'm going to annoy so many people by calling him 9 to 5, but that's, that's like a sign of respect. That's a that's fun nickname for a character. What team is this going to consist of? Let's see. Oh, the other best girl. She's great. I forgot her name, though. She's just like one of the assistants, right? Wow, well, his very, very pointy uh, facial hair there. Okay, so clearly they're amping up next episode to be uh, incredible. <laughs> Panda! They make it so easy for fans to remember his name. It's just Panda. The Panda, the Panda. <laughs> Pops, okay. Lollipop, sure. Or a sucker, whatever you want to call it. Oh, so they're on, like, patrol, like, patrol to make sure nothing escapes or whatever. Bro, we're probably going to... I bet you people love this arc because it's probably just action-packed as heck. Where's uh, where's Yuji? What team's Yuji going to be on? He's, he's going to be with Gojo, right? That'd be a pretty good team. Oh, no. I'm, oh, please be Otodo. Imagine. They're brothers, after all. Oh, whoa, really? They said you guys ain't getting out of here until Gojo comes. Wow, they're really trying to lure him in. It's amazing how much people just want Gojo in this universe. He's just like the god, like the best. People who aren't him hate him. I wouldn't be out in the streets. I'd find like a building or something and find like a broom closet and just hide it or I don't know. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, oh, is this Gojo? It is Gojo. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. And here we go with the outro. Okay. Really good episode. I mean, again, it's kind of crazy. Like the first two thirds, just this crazy hectic fight. And R.I.P. Mechamaru. Like I, I can't say he was like one of my favorite characters, but uh, I did like his whole thing with him controlling the mechs from far away. And I thought he had a really cool fight in the first season um, against Panda. Oh, that was so sick. Um, it is really sad though that Miwa was like, "I want to get to know you most. Like I'm gonna go visit you." And he, like he, ah. Uh, I'm glad Miwa's okay, though. Miwa, Miwa, best girl. Megumi, best girl. <laughs> okay. uh, so, yeah, clearly, uh, whatever is going to happen in this domain, or this veil, I should say, different, different thing, um, it's going to be some action-packed fun. It didn't show what team Yuji's on. Maybe he's right behind Gojo. Maybe he won't be here, though. I don't know if they're, like, they're going to bring in all the students to help with this, because we didn't see Toto either. But, that'd be, you know. They know what we want to see. We want to see Toto and his bro kicking ass. I'll see if they do. Yeah, they're probably going to do another one of those. Chocolate chip melon bread? I've never had melon bread. What is melon bread? Is that a Japanese thing? 
Oh, next episode, the Shibuya incident. Yeah, that's what this whole arc is named after. So next episode, which is out already, I will record that uh, within the next couple days and post that for you guys. Um, I'm excited. Should be cool. Hope you guys enjoyed and leave your thoughts down below. Until next time, it's been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.